Then there's the requirements definition phase. Here, when we're, once we get to the requirements definition phase, we have our personas, right? And we're focused on meeting the goals and needs of specific personas. Because remember, the personas essentially are representing our users. They're an archetype. You create things like context scenarios. Well, what is that? It's basically a day in the life of a persona using a product. You actually tend to develop numerous context scenarios. It helps you understand how they're going to use the product. And when they say a day in the life, as when I start talking about persona, you'll see I'm just not talking about, okay, you sit at your computer and you type. It's how does their work fit into their overall life? Are they using a handheld? When do they use a handheld? What are they going to use it for? Are they using it and then they're going to go pick up their, their child at school? Those sorts of things. It considers scenario-driven requirements, as I just described. Business goals. So remember, there are different types of goals. It does, does include the business goals. Desired brand attributes and technical constraints. How do you want to brand it? What are your technical constraints? Is it going to be on a server? Is it going to be on a handheld? Is it going to be over a network? And with your requirements definition, this is another area where you have to take your research in these various areas. You're going to put together what you need for your product, and you have to balance out all these different components. Remember, throughout the semester, I talk about how you have to balance things out. There's no perfect answer. I know it'd be so easy if there was. Your requirements definition phase is an area where you really need to focus on balancing user, business, and techn technological requirements that you're going to follow for the design. You are going to have to give and take in each of those. How much you can give and take in each of those areas is going to vary from one situation to another. So, how much leeway do you have when it comes to technological requirements? You may have a lot. You may have very little. You have to balance that out with other things like the business requirements and the user requirements and the user goals.